Hi, my name is Alex, and I'm a co-founder of VidSwap.com. I'd like to take you through a quick demonstration of everything VidSwap.com has to offer. First, when you upload your game video, we break it down in 12 to 24 hours or less. So think of us as a video assistant 24-7, 365. We save you hundreds of hours per season so you can better teach your players and get more out of your video. Even if you're using another service, you can still use us to break down your games or your scout games. Second, VidSwap allows you to collaborate and share your analysis with your entire team from any computer or iOS device. And lastly, our iOS app is one of our most popular features. Your analysis can be in the palm of your hand, on the bus, the plane, or the locker room, and you don't need an internet connection. So again, VidSwap does all the work for you in 12 to 24 hours or less. Your breakdowns are online, so you can collaborate with your entire team. And the iOS app gives you offline use for film sessions anywhere. Now let's take a quick look at how VidSwap.com works. So on your dashboard, you've got a number of available apps. Your videos is where you're going to upload all your games, practices, scout games, or training videos uh, that you want to edit and share with your team. If you're doing an exchange with us for the whole league, schedules is where all of that's located. And we break down video for an entire league, meaning you'll have access to any situation, any plays across the entire league. When you're looking at your list of games, you'll notice that there are checkboxes next to them that allows you to do multi-game analysis, and you can email links to people outside of your team that you want to share with. When we open up a game, you'll see that we've got a grid. And in this grid, this is where all of the columns are located that we're editing your video. We're breaking down all those situations. So you can pull up any kind of scenario or tendency across any number of games. Each row represents a play, and each column represents a set of situations, whether it's offense, our defense or special teams, team with the ball, play type, result, all sorts of things. I can click on the top columns and I can now filter for what I want to look at. Maybe all of Cleveland pass plays in this game. And now I can watch all Cleveland pass plays throughout this game or maybe any number of games that I've got selected. I've got all my player controls Play, pause, slow motion, fast forward, skip forward and backwards, next play, previous play. I've, we support multiple angles. So if you've got a sideline and an end zone, those can be intercut together. And I can watch not just the side, but also that tight copy. I can add telestrations and notes on top of these clips to further teach my players exactly maybe the kind of routes that we want to run here. And then I can save these for later. I can select clips and then add these to a highlight presentation or maybe create a review assignment for my players. I can also pull up a detailed statistical report that shows me tendencies on whatever kind of statistic I want to look at, whether it's the data that we've done for you, or maybe some custom stats, some custom tagging that you've entered in yourself. You can pull that up and then you can see those trends and what those stats are telling you. Documents is where you can upload things like playbooks, scatter reports, practice plans, play scripts, anything like that that you want to share with your coaches or your players. Your highlights is where you can manage video presentations for your team, your players. You can add or edit descriptions, you can change the order of these, and you can also add telestrations on top of the video. We do support HD video, so all video that you upload is going to look great. Rosters is where you can give access to your whole team, so they can log in and watch video from any computer or iOS device. And you can also set custom permissions to control what your players can see. Reviews are assignments you give to your player so you can teach them more effectively and measure what they're doing. Reviews are like highlights where you can add different clips, telestrations, notes, but you've also got a chat thread on the right that you can have conversations with your players just like you would in a film session. 
The best part about this is you have a report on every review that gives you really good granularity to understand what your players are actually learning about these specific topics. So how long they've been logged in, when they logged in, when they looked at it, what kind of comments they've made. So it's not just login statistics of logging in, but actually specific stats that show you on these topics, on these assignments you're giving about what they're learning. You've got cumulative stats that show you stats across the entire season, plus for individual games. Settings is where you can add custom tags, where maybe you want to add in your custom play calls, defense, fronts, coverages, any kind of extra additional grading, player grading, notes, all the kind of additional stuff that you want to be able to add into your video. The help sections are where you can learn how to use our features and ask for help. And the upload video button is on the right. And the top right corner is your account information where you can manage your login and subscription information. Lastly, let's take a quick look at the iOS app. So our app works for both the iPad and the iPhone. And the best thing about our app is you can download video and edits into the app for offline use. So film sessions can be done anywhere. You can plug your device into a projector or a TV and then do film sessions in front of your team. So once you're logged in, we can go in and start to take a look at some games and you'll notice that there's a cloud icon next to these games. This tells me whether or not it's downloaded or not. A cloud means I can stream it, but if I want to download it, I can tap on that cloud and now download it into the app. When we pop into a game, we'll see our play clips grid showing you all of the data fields in each play. I can tap on the top of any column and then start to pull up my filter. Pop into full screen and I can now go through this situation. You'll see your controls on the right and on the left here. The top shows you the information on each play. I can move that control bar to the bottom. I've got my slow motion, fast forward, skip forward and backwards, next play, previous play, and my switch angle buttons. I can also draw on screen whenever the video is paused. I can pull up any highlighter review and do a film session with my players. So in conclusion, that's a quick look at vidswap.com. We break down your games for you. If you'd like a more in-depth demonstration, please contact us.